the Stable Diffusion Free Medium model is released. You can now run it on your computer today. In this video, I will talk about what is the Stable Diffusion Free Medium model. I will show you how to run the model on your local machine with Comfy UI. Finally, I will compare the Stable Diffusion Free model with the previous best Stable Diffusion models to see what it is good at. Here's a brief history of Stable Diffusion models to help you understand where the Stable Diffusion Free model stands. In October 2022, Stable Diffusion 1.5 model was released. It ran fast on PC and many users have fine-tuned the model to generate different styles. It was the first time the world sees something like this. It was a huge success. And Stable Diffusion 2 model came along in November 2022. Unfortunately, the model did not perform better than the 1.5 model. It is now generally forgotten. In July 2023, Stable Diffusion XL was released. It offered larger image size and higher image quality. It was another success. Many individuals and companies fine-tuned the SDXL model and make it even better. In April 2024, Stable Diffusion 3 is available through an API, meaning that you cannot run the model, but Stability AI can run it for you and send you an image for a fee. It is a great model with a lot of improvements such as text generation and prompt following. Now, in June 2024, Stability AI has finally released the highly anticipated Stable Diffusion 3 model, but only the medium version. Is it a success or a flop? Let's find out. Stable Diffusion 3 model is not a single model, but a family of three models, small, medium, and large. Stability AI did not say what the models are, but from what we know now, the one that is available through the API is the large model. The one has just been released is the medium model, and itself has two variants, the full model with 2 billion parameters, and a version without the T5 XXL text encoder, which reduces the size to about 1 billion parameters. Now, let's see how to run it on Comfy UI. Go to a link to my tutorial in the description. I have listed out all the steps to run the model in Comfy UI. The first thing you need to do is update Comfy UI. The easiest thing to do is to use Comfy UI Manager. Click on the Manager button and then click Update Comfy UI. After that, you will need to restart Comfy UI to take effect. The next step is to download the Stable Diffusion 3 model. As I said before, there was two different model variants available, the full model and the one without the T5 XXL text encoder. If you have a GPU card with 12 GB or more of, G of RAM, download the full model. If you have a GPU card with only 8 GB, download the, the one without the T5 XXL encoder. So follow the link and then click on the download button. After you download the model, move the model to the folder Comfy UI, Models, and Checkpoints. And then the next step is to download the JSON file for the workflow. Click on the green download button and then drop the workflow JSON file to your Comfy UI. So now you should have load your model. If you have a GPU card with 12 GB or more, use the full model, which is called Stable Diffusion 3, SD3, and Medium Include T5 XXL. And the one without the T5 XXL is called the SD3 Medium Include Clip. So now I have selected the full model. And go ahead and click on the coupon button. And just now you can see the model is running. And now you can see an image being generated. And just in every model, you can change the prom and the negative prom in the workflow. And if you want to generate an image with different aspect ratio, you can follow the image size here. For example, for one to one aspect ratio, put in 1024 and 1024 in the width and the height box. Dual Division 3 is supposed to have improved text generation over the previous models. So let's, let's try generating some text to see how well it can render text on an image. Let's generate the phrase Stable Diffusion Free Medium. 
and over some fryers and lavas. So here is the image that we generate using still different free medium, full model, and on without the T5XXL text encoder. You can see the full model is a little bit better in the sense that words kind of blend into the background a little bit better, but only slightly better. And let's compare that with Stable Diffusion Free API, which now we suspect that it is the large model. You can see that the word Stable Diffusion blend in very nicely with the fires on the rock, so it kind of blend into the image really well. So definitely the Stable Diffusion Free API still have a place to be if you want to generate text. And on the other hand, just as a reference, Stable Diffusion XL model doesn't really cut it when we generate text, which we know that um, that is kind of a deficiency of the model. Let's test out how well the model can generate human pose. Here I generate a woman sitting on a chair with both hands above her head. As you can see here, the Stable Diffusion Free Medium model didn't do too well here. We see missing legs, merging limbs that remind me of the SD 1.5 model. And of course, taking away the T5 XXL text encoder didn't help. We see the same problem, or even worse. The same prompt performed pretty well with SDXL, no missing or merging limbs. It also performed well with the SD3 API. So the problem of human anatomy is not an inherent problem of SD3. A nice surprise is that the SD3 medium actually generates hands and fingers pretty well. This has long been a weakness of SDXL and 1.5 models. My guess is the anatomy problem is more related to training. We should see improvement after fine-tuning by the community. The last task is to test out how well the images follow the prom. Here I'm trying to generate a still life painting with a skull on a book, with an orange on the right, and an apple on the left. It is a challenging prompt for stable diffusion models. The SD3 medium model actually did pretty well, getting two out of three correct. Taking away the T5 XXL encoder didn't help, of course. One out of three is correct. For comparison, SDXL got none of them correct. And SD3 API got all of them correct. So the ability of following the prom is a big improvement in SD3 medium. It is a lot better than SDXL, but it is not as good as the SD3 large model. Finally, let's test out a crazy difficult prom to see how well the medium model does. Let's try to generate a man and a woman standing behind a brick wall which is red on the left and gold on the right. The woman is wearing a t-shirt with a panda and a long dress with birds. The man is in a silver suit, has a red spiky hair. So this is with a lot of details and very difficult for any AI image generators. And guess what? The medium model generates the image correctly. You can see the wall has the right color, red on the left and gold on the right. You see the panda t-shirt and long dress with birds on the woman. You see the man wearing silver shirt and with red spiky hair. This result just blew me away. This further showcased the potential of the SD3 model. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. See you next time.